Howdy to all you trombone players out there. Um, this week we've got some cool things in store. Um, if you take a look at the um, favorites link on the main YouTube page, our main YouTube page, um, you'll see a video by the Cavalier Drum and Bugle Corps um, back in 2004. They did a really cool show um, on James Bond music, so take a look at that. I think you'll like it. Drum and Bugle Corps is very similar to a marching band in the respect that they're marching on a field. Um, but it's geared towards people a little bit older and a little bit more dedicated. It's under the age of 21, and they spend an entire summer, 12 hours a day, rehearsing one show and touring the entire country. Um, and also, there's only brass instruments, so no woodwinds in a drum and bugle corps. So yeah, on a trombone, what we're going to learn is first how to clean out our slides. Okay, um, take your slide and pull it into two pieces. Okay. Now you may or may not have um, a cleaning rod. I would recommend spending the seven dollars to get one. It's a good investment to clean out this. You'll probably save more in, in, in um, repair costs in the long run. It's only seven dollars. Probably pays for itself the first time, and you'll see why. Um, you're going to take a piece of cloth, maybe an old T-shirt, very small piece. You see, this isn't very big, and you're going to put it through the slide, swab it out a couple times. And you're going to do that to all parts of the slide. Okay, so clean them out real nice. You'll see that there's going to be a bunch of really nasty looking stuff. Let's let's get a really good close up of that one right there. Oh yeah, some green things in your instrument. Okay, and this is from me, who, you know, washes my mouth out before I play. I brush my teeth, wash it out with water, and I can't imagine what your slides look like for those that haven't cleaned their slides out yet. Um, clean them out. You'll be, you'll be pleasant surprised, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> well, I don't know about pleasantly, but you'll be surprised, okay? So, next thing, let's learn how to um, properly lubricate the slide, okay? Take a rag or something, anything, wipe that slide clean, get all the residue and all that good stuff off there, okay? Now, there does not seem to be a consensus on the best way to lubricate a trombone slide. The most complicated seems to be the super slick system, and um, a lot of you have that in class. Whoop, dropped a piece. A lot of you have this in class, so I figured I would spend time on the most complicated because the others are pretty straightforward. It consists of three parts. First, take this, um, this cylinder of um, trombone slide grease and take a dab on your finger. Okay. What I want you to do is dab that slide cream at various parts of the trombone slide. Okay. The key to trombone slide cream is not too much. Next what you're going to do is distribute the um, slide cream throughout the slide. If there is too much there will be a white film. You don't want that. This isn't actually what lubricates the trombone slide. So go ahead and wipe that in so you barely see anything on there. Next thing you take this um, what's called slide treatment. It's the little one and you put one drop on each slide. Then you take the other part and you work all of that in. Okay. Make sure you put your slide on the correct way. You work all that in. Okay. You'll notice that already it's feeling a lot better. But what actually creates the, um, the less friction is this. All this is is water. It's a sprayer with water. Open it on out, you can even have it in two parts, and spray a couple sprays of water on that. And the beads of water, you'll see beads of water form. The beads of water are what actually lubricate the slide and make it um, go nice and smooth. So yeah, that's how to clean the instrument. Alright, the next part is I'm going to play through lesson two for you. Okay? I'll just make it pretty straightforward. You already know to work for the correct partials and the correct slide positions. So here we go. Here is um, lesson two, number one, the three new notes. Here's the first note in E flat. If you notice at the beginning of my note, I did a bam. That's called a frac. And they're very difficult to eliminate, but try and eliminate them from your playing. Try and get that nice, clear tone out from right from the beginning. Here's the next note, an F. Okay. Here's the next note, the G, fourth position. 
Okay? Or to hold those out as long as possible. Okay? Here's the next part, number two of lesson two. Um, this exercise combines um, the three new notes in a simple melody. Jingle Bells, and by far the most difficult thing we've attempted yet, okay? Jingle Bells combines these, um, two of the three new notes that you learn on Lesson 2, and the three notes of Lesson lesson 1, so you need to reference back on Lesson 1, okay? Here's Jingle Bells. Enjoy this, um, learn from it, watch it a few times, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.